I tested if it's been PC version again, with name was update to see if it's getting any better. Spoiler alert, it's not. I'm sure you will not watch this fully, so let's jump to the summary. The recent update finally add in some extra keyboard shortcuts. You can hold Z key and then slide pen up or down to zoom in or out. And then you can rotate by holding R key then rotate with your pen. Previously, you will need to hold ridiculous key combination like Ctrl Shift Space and Ctrl Shift Alt, which is really hard. They also add keyboard shortcut to change brush size, although it's not very responsive and only change one pixel every second, which is totally not usable. Other programs will adapt to change depend on the correct brush size. When the brush size is big, it will change much more. On a smaller brush size, it will change bit by bit. And while we hold it, it will change much more gradually. On a bis pane, it just constant one pixel. Luckily, they also add a more normal shortcut for changing brush size. We can hold Ctrl plus Alt and slide the pen to change the brush size. But it also really weird. It will always start from the small size every time we press it. Normally, like in Grita, it will use the correct brush size, not always reporting back to the small size. I still have no idea why developers like to keep trying to invent new stuff while there are already a lot of good examples. And we still don't have any other mandatory keyboard shortcut like Alt to control pick and control D to clear selection. So if we use lasso tool and try to pen it again, we need to set lasso tool again, click clear selection, and click the brush icon again to switch to brush tool. On a normal PC program, you can just press Ctrl plus D and then you can start coloring again directly without switching tools multiple times. This EBS pen still not optimized at all for PC. This is exactly the same as the mobile version. So with this 4K screen, we still need to open up extra menu to see brush layer and choose color. And they are gigantic, covering half of the screen which is a palm size. Being exact same as mobile version has it on pros and cons. Like mobile users can easily use this without any problem, but comparing to the other program, it's kinda limited. Lastly, my timer hack still works just fine. Simply go back to this blue screen and it reset back the timer back to 60 minutes again after you applied my trick properly. And that's all. You don't have to watch all my drawing experience with this EB Spin. My experience with this pen PC starts with this weird train pressure not works properly. It's using 30% opacity but it's way too thick. And I having a hard time trying to click something. It always register multiple clicks with just one click. So it always open and close instantly like this. It also having a hard time registering my light pressure. I already checked on other programs and it works just fine. So this is a EBS pen problem. Then I spent long time trying to fix this with no luck, changing the pen pressure setting and try other brush. Luckily we still have the timer trick so we didn't waste any time with this one hour limit. Two hours later. After couple hours I kinda figured out how this worked. It still feels weird but it's much better than before. I still haven't fixed the problem at all, so I just forced myself to draw with Ibis Pen. The eraser still feels weird compared to other programs because it's too strong on the center and having weird fade effect. And here I make a new layer for the base color below the sketch layer and just color it directly. I still use my usual workflow for this painting process, so I turn the sketch into multiple layer and make it a bit more red. Usually I just use color adjustment tool to change this, but on this paint, it's locked by paywall. So I set alpha lock for this layer and just paint in red on everything and this change the sketch into a dark red color. I really had to open extra window to just pick a color. This really make my workflow slower. Then I still use overlay layer to make my color more fresh and vibrant by using like orange color. Then I also use the usual line art trick by duplicating the sketch layer and set it to color burn layer. Then apply a bit more blur and reduce the opacity a bit. This will apply more depth around the sketch. Currently we have 27 minutes remaining, so let's just go back to the menu and reset the timer. You can see here the daily ranking is still the same as before, so this is still same day as we start. And now the timer goes back to 60 minutes again. And after I applied all of the extra layers, I make a new layer on top and just paint over everything. It's mostly my coloring style, which highly inspired from Macronet back then. 
I need to set opacity really low to make this brush work properly. I mainly just use this one basic brush for everything, so nothing special here. Just trying to make this look better. From here, I start using the color pick by holding the pen for a second. It's not as fast as pressing Alt key like other program. It's still much better than clicking the eyedropper icon on the left side. For making eyes, I like to add multiple lines for the lower eyelid, one with dark color and the inner side with lighter color, and also adding a bit eye backing. Still learning how to make this good without making it too creepy. Lastly, I use Liquify to fix everything. Liquify is total last ever for artists. We can fix everything without redoing it again. I actually don't have clear paint using Liquify, so I just testing some alternative and find something better. The Liquify here in Ibis Paint is surprisingly good. It's much smoother than Krita, and probably the same as Clip Studio. And of course, it's still far from Photoshop. To make this look more detailed, I add in some random hard line. This easily give illusion of details and making it less blurry. In this last step, I like to add a soft light layer on the top to blend in everything with the light. And it's finally done with how weird the brush work. The style looks really different from my usual style. You can see here the creation date and the last edit date is still on same day and less than 24 hours. So this proof by timer trick still works perfectly. I read a lot of comments saying it's not work anymore. I think some people are not lucky enough for this.